Good afternoon, traders. It's just about noon on Friday, and I'm now looking to start day trading. I've been managing my swing account for most of the morning, adjusting positions. I'm looking at this, what is it, APC right now. All right, so I'm actually looking to take a long of a thousand shares. And I'll explain why in just a moment. All right, so 50 or 82.44 was a monthly high from two months ago. And my guess is that we're going to meet some support at this level. Let's just say I got my fill here at 52. My stop would be if we went below 82.43. So roughly a 9 to 10 cent stop. All right, they're catching a bit. I'm going to move it up. I want to get it involved. Now I'm moved. I got filled at 57. Okay. So what's that mean now that I got filled at 57? It means that my loss is going to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so what's my target? Well, I'm looking between 10 and 20 cents, preferably 15. I'm letting the tape run. I'm going to try not to pause it so you can view the prints and see what I'm looking at. The video might be a little bit longer, but just bear with me. I promise I'll get you some action. Alright, so I'm going to try to sell a little bit at 82.65. one quarter of my position threes okay just two more cents Market looks like it's going to get a bounce here off this 67 half level. All right, cool. 64 prints, 65 prints got filled on 250. 67 is coming through. I'm going to offer out another 250 at 69. Alright, so basically what I'm trying to do is scale out for a profit and at the same time reduce my risk on the way up. Uh, so a new 5 minute bar just printed a minute ago right now. So this is a fresh 5 minute bar. Another 67 print. I really want to see some 68's come through. Come on, one more cent.
eights, cool. There, there's my nines. Putting another 250 at 73. Alright, come on, hit me. I'm gonna. 74 is cool. Scaling out, I got 250 left. I'll sell it at 76. Cool. Alright, that's it. I made 140 on that trade. Yeah, it's moving up a little more. Uh, but I'm happy. That's 14 cents altogether on that 1,000 shares. Alright, I'm looking for another one right now. Check this win out. They halted it over an AK filing and it resumed trading at 11.55 and it just rocketed up about seven points here. This is a little too volatile for me. All right, so I'm watching this Amazon right now. It's 12.17, usually I don't trade during the lunch time but I'm gonna make an exception here but only to grade A setups so if we get a hold over 179 excuse me a hold below 179 I'll probably look to take it short but if you go and look at a daily chart you'll see that 179 has been a level that we've approached over years and had action off of so it's got to be on increasing volume and the prints have to be fairly large all right markets moving lower during the lunch session this might be a buying opportunity here all right long from 66 half Trying to get out of sixty seven half. Right, we got a quarter print, one more tick, and I should get my fill. More quarters, here we go. Alright, cool, just got filled. Um, so I made 50 on that trade. All right, looking at this crude right here, seeing if it's going to get a bounce. Is that a support level at 106.18? All right, there it goes. So we missed out on that. What you need to know is when you're in a bullish trend, you want to get long on pullbacks. And that's why long the ES, which is currently trading at 1368 now, that would have been a dollar 50 profit. I, I took a point. You really can't be greedy. A point in the ES is very good. Especially when you're in such a tight range. And as for the crude goes, crude has been traveling up. Yeah, in the past week, four trading sessions, we've had a bit of a consolidation period. But I think that, you know, 105 probably will hold and you're going to get more buyers coming in. Right here, I have the Wednesday data pulled up from the CL. And look when it got to 105. They slammed it to 104.84 and 
shook out all the loose hands, which put their limit orders probably in at 105, right, that whole number. And then that's when they run it back up. And it just proves that definitely still is a bullish bias for crude. All right, so I have the daily crude chart pulled up right here. I want to show you something. Take a look at the volume. Here's a down day. Here's two down days. Okay, look at the volume on these two down days. And then look at the volume on the two up days that we just had prior to today's trading session. All right, so you see the up volume is way greater than the down volume. That's just something I tend to look at. Shows where the accumulation and distribution is coming in at. All right, so. I kind of want to take a long still, but I'm being patient. 